what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing well thank you for stopping by i do appreciate it as ever yes you do read correctly after much grinding at a ridiculously low light level i think i've started off trying to do this at like 583 and all the way up um we finally managed to get it done and it was me and my good friend shortbread much love to shortbread um one slight point of order in this um video uh, the winning loadout that i showed you wasn't quite correct it was actually distant relation that i used the scout rifle uh, that you get from gambit uh it's a solar scout rifle and it has boss spec on and it does really really well so yes i have finally finally done the first forge um i think i did it at about 602 light level give or take a few bits and pieces depending on what i'd put in and what I hadn't put in and what I'd leveled up and what I hadn't leveled up but it, it, it's been a struggle it's been me and shortbread that's been doing it and we've been relying on one random coming in and oh my god has the struggle been just real I have to say off the bat I have thoroughly 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 enjoyed doing this because it's been tough it's been difficult and you'll be able to see in the background I get pooped on quite severely quite a few numbers at times because i'm quite a low light level now i think in this one i was 601 and then shortbread 633 and the random that was in with this was 609 so i think combined and when you divide it by three i think it gave us a team light level of like 617 overall so still probably about right i suppose give or take for for where it kind of needs to be but I'm, I'm holding my hands up. I was carried a little bit in this. I held my own. I got some kills. You know, got the throw. Um, the uh, the orbs into the sticky thing. <laughs> and it's just, it was a grind. But it was good fun. Thoroughly enjoyable. Um, I like this kind of game style where you're doing against very, very difficult thrash mobs. It's very, very re reminiscent, actually, of um, Prison of Elders. Just the way that I see it and the way that I look at it. And, you know, learnt a couple of things when doing this. For me, I find it works really well if I've got a shotgun. It works really well if I have a pulse rifle, uh, an elemental pulse rifle or um, a scout rifle. Just for dealing at long range when you're coming in, just to help your other teammates. Um, and just make sure you throw between the sticks. Don't throw it on the thing. The amount of times that I've thrown a ball and it's bounced off and gone completely the wrong way in the direction that I expected it to go into which was highly frustrating to say the least but i mean you'll see here this the actual ending to this is probably the sketchiest ending that you're ever likely to see and i've talked about it a little bit in previous videos just to do with the grind element of things and people being pissed off because you know content was locked for them unless they were a particular light level now i have probably put in in the last week alone probably 25 hours worth of gameplay so roughly speaking about five hours a day um i'm very lucky in terms of the way that i am and ooh, what's a little purple engram what what we got here what we got here oh i thought it was gonna be a prime but it's not um and what i have just done is i've just grinded the shit out of the game for the past kind of week just to get myself up a particular light level and i went up probably about 20 light levels give or take in the last week um i think it is important you could probably do it just below 600 if you've got two higher much higher light level people with you but i think just for helping the team out you need to be 600 and above to be able to do the forge and to be able to you know make headway with it and do good with it but it's it, it's really really good fun i found that the shotguns were really good like i said for the close-up work um you tend to find that a couple of shotguns on the cabal uh, and a stab uh, and you can take them down um same with um the fizens as well with the fizens I, I can't remember if it was like one shotgun shot and then taking it out and everything and stuff like that but overall just really good and i, I feel a real sense of accomplishment with what i managed to achieve like i said i'm going to be the first to admit this one for me was carried slightly um there's nothing else you can say about it really I, wa I was carried to a certain degree and you'll see that specifically in the end the funny thing is about the ending part of this is that we actually do really really good damage um to the end boss and you kind of you can kind of get taken away with all of the thrash mobs that are running around and everything quite you know quite 
dramatically they can uh, just sort of overwhelm you and that's kind of what happened to us at the end and I think I can't remember the, the timing we, we'd nearly run out of time by the time that we'd actually done it so it was just very close very clutch but sketchy as hell and like I said it's just been enjoyable because the nice thing about it is, is because we're not max light levels and you can burn through it you actually have to come up with a legitimate strategy for doing it like for example save your heavy ammo for the boss if you can because it's very likely that heavy ammo won't drop before you go into the forge make sure that you go to a public event flag and rally up so you get full ammo before you go in um, and just make sure that you're not all bunched together I know one of the things shortbread was complaining about when we were doing this was that people were kind of following him around a little bit rather than trying to get their sections or their sides done and it's very difficult when you've got a random in to expect a random to play the way that you want them to play but what I generally try to do was run from one side to the other with a shotgun to take people out and then obviously get the orb in as, as quickly as is humanly possible um, and it it's it, it I, I've enjoyed it I can't wait to grind for some for the next weapons now and have a go on those ones and get those ones out so it, it overall like I said really really good fun very very enjoyable um, like I said it's tough that's what I like about it the fact that you actually have to have a legitimate strategy to go with it um, we had what in this two hunters and a um, uh, and a warlock hunt, uh, shortbread was the warlock um, this was the bit that probably you're going to see in a second actually the bit that probably wins us this is shortbread's super there and then obviously i've got quite a bit of ammo left in thunderlord good old thunderlord it looks like art damage for the win on absolutely everything and i'm pretty sure that the other hunter had a thunderlord on as well and having thunderlord does help having the art damage does help but the key thing is is just to make sure that you're putting down as much damage on the boss as possible and try and ignore the thrash mobs this was the bit that i think probably won it for us was because shortbread put his um his rift down and it just seemed to help us quite a lot and we got really really close to the end i mean we had like a minute left but then we all kept dying it was just bonkers we literally had him with like nothing left whatsoever at all you can see here we all just get wiped out continuously because again you just you can just get overwhelmed particularly if you stay in the same place and we're thinking oh crap we've got to take his little orb things off of him and we've not got a lot of time left this is oh this isn't going to go how we want it to go and then you just get taken out all the time um i, I stupidly went to revive that guy when i should have gone and hidden um just to try and make you know it a little bit easier for 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 us all um but yeah we, we you know we get it in the end that's why i'm bringing you this video and like i said I've enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next ones. I can't wait to see what the next ones are going to do. So I think, where are we at now time-wise? 12, 11, 10 seconds we're at now? So I'm waiting to revive in, and we've literally got 7, 6. Yeah, we do it with 5 seconds to spare. So all good in the hood. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the milestone update. If that's the first forge for me done, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. We, I appreciate it. That'll be the other voices in my head. <laughs> we out here, guys. Peace.